I'm Dr Andy Stevens. I work for Anglia Ruskin University, but I'm also a member of the Essex Coalition of Disabled People. And we run a course there with uh, disabled people as the only students. In that course, we're talking about the social model of disability, but trying to move on beyond the standard approach that people have taken in the um, early part of the 20th century in trying to establish rights for disabled people. Social model of disability identifies social barriers that people face when they're involved with any day-to-day -day activity. And that includes getting jobs at the university or being a student. Other people will talk about access, but let's think a little bit beyond that to what people's potential is. This is one of the main functions of education, but people rarely go beyond the, the social barriers concept of a social model of disability. Um, and I think you need to bear in mind that whatever applies in this context to disabled people also applies to people from diverse backgrounds, people from different races, different cultures, and different genders. So when you're looking at the social model of disability in terms of people's capabilities, think what potential people have, treat them as individuals, and within the learning outcomes of your modules, try and build on their strengths as well as deal with issues of plain accessibility.